Okay, in this video I will show you how to use Origin to prepare your graph for the cyclic voltammetry report, report. And hopefully your data was saved from the electrochemistry workstation as a star.dat. If not, you can rename it and it will still work. So here I've named this background file .dat so I can open it in Origin. And you see that on the worksheet, there's a bunch of information here at the top. This is called the header information. And this is telling you how you set up the experiment. We don't need this to make the graph. All the way down here on line 47 is actually the start of the header information for the actual data to be graphed. So we can remove all this stuff. by highlighting it and then deleting it. And now we can start transferring this header information up into the headers here in the work in the worksheet. So this is the points. It's just the number number of the data point that was collected. And just to help label the data. Okay. And this is just a label. Okay, this is the time, so we're double clicking on the column to edit all this stuff. And then you use for seconds. And so this, I guess we could have it as an X, we're not really that interested in it that way though. This is the actual voltage we're interested in or electrochemical potential in volts and this is versus the silver wire reference and this is going to be our X and then here this is going to be our Y which is our current and then it's our amps Okay, so now we can get rid of this header header information because we copied it up into the header, so delete that. And then also about halfway through this data file, that was curve one, it's going to plot curve two on the same worksheet. So it's going to have another set of header information that we need to delete. There it is. Or else the computer might get confused by these words instead of the numbers. So now we can take this Y3, plot it against this X3, the current versus potential, except that the electrochemical program ca called the oxidation of ferrocene positive current and by convention that should be negative, oxidation should be negative current, so we need to do some math. If we go up here to mathematics, go to simple column math, let's open the dialog, and what we want to do is we want to multiply this column by negative one. So we select a column, input one, which actually we already highlighted that, but just to check, we want to multiply it by a constant, in particular negative one, and we could put the output back to the input column, or we could create a new column. Okay. So here's our new column. And let's widen it up here. Okay. Let's call this the correct current, well, so it's still amps, and this is corrected. So now we want to plot this versus our x value, make a plot, a line plot. 
And there we go. We start at zero. We went to positive 1.5 and then went back to zero. And we have current versus potential with the units. That's correct, except that by convention, positive voltages are supposed to be displayed on the left. So let's fix this graph first. We don't want the legend. Now we want to change the properties of the x-axis. So we double click on the x-axis and we can reverse it. Okay. Now that reversed our y. So let's double click on our y-axis. Here it's on the right. Here it's on the left. Oh, since we have it reversed, I guess actually we're talking about the left one to turn on. Okay, that's confusing since we have it reversed. We're actually editing the left one. So we want to show the ticks that we... Okay, so now we have a properly formatted graph, so we can save our work so far, and we can export this graph, we can copy it as a picture, and put it into our lab report. So that's just the background scan. I also want one example of the Sc different scan rates with the ferrocene sample for your report. So here, control V, and there's your graph. Okay, so that's very flat. That's good news for our background. Also, and actually, you can import more than one file at a time. So you could do multiple, multiple ASCII. We could go to our data folder and look for any DAT file and we can select all of these so we can process them all at once and get the data we need for our lab reports. Start new sheets for each one. So here they all are. So we can do like we did before, cut out the first so many rows of header information. And we can, again, call these things the correct stuff. change the name of the column or we could just plot it. So this is supposed to be an x-axis. Forgot to type x. Okay, let's see what that does now.
Okay, so there's our cyclic voltammogram. This actually has two different uh, samples in it. So this is from a different experiment than the one you did. Uh, but again, we want to change the x-axis direction. Okay, so that's the that's what I wanted to see. Get rid of that. And we want to find these peaks here on the data for our lab report. And then we can save this, save our work of course. We can again save this as a graph for our lab report. And you need to make a table of all your data, but I only need to see one of these graphs in your report just as an example so I can see that you, you plotted it correctly for your calculations. And of course that's not the right text here. We should, we should edit that text. Just type in here what we wanted to say. So do that with all the all your data files here, the different scan rates, to see if the ferrocene redox couple is reversible.